We have a date for Jen Shaw's. Okay, no, a date for the trial. <laughs> Let me share my screen because I do want to um, show you guys just a clip. Hold on. So we have a date for Jen Shaw's trial. Her trial will begin. What's today? This, in like two weeks, less than two weeks, her trial is going to begin. Jen Shaw, as you know, from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, is facing major, major charges from the Southern District of New York. I told you the Southern District of New York is not one to be played with, but she's playing. Let me share my screen. As always, we're going to be citing our sources. This comes from, oop, there we go. This comes from Elizabeth Rosner on Twitter. She says, Jen Shaw and her husband, Sharif, hold hands leaving court. The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City star trials is set to begin on July 18th. Look at this, look at this. George Smith taking the stand against you. You described him effectively as right hand, and now he's supposed to testify against you. How do you feel about that, Jen? So as you know, Jen has been using the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City to change her image. You saw it last season. I'm sure you're going to see it this season. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see whether or not how much of that they're going to show in, re in regards to her changing up her, her image. Will she be wilding out during the season? Who knows? Who knows? But our friends over at the Bravo docket, actually, you know, I love how they break things down in layman's terms. So you know what is going to happen um, starting July 18th. All right. So they say this. Let me just open up my stuff here. First of all, they captioned this. It's on July 5th. The court held the pre-trial conference to discuss the issues leading into trial. All right. So let's go through what they're, they're saying. So the trial begins on July 18th. They said jury selection will begin on July 18th. They say check out previous posts on jury selection to learn more. The prosecutor stated that their case could take two to three weeks. Damn, that's quick. <laughs> Jen's counsel stated her defense could take one to two weeks. You sure? <laughs> the court emphasized that the proceedings would be conducted respectfully and would not be a trial of surprises. All right. We should not expect to see many Real Housewives of Salt Lake uh, City clips used at trial. Back in May, when, rule when ruling on the party's pre-trial motions, the court told prosecutors to steer clear from using any clips of the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, stating, make this trial of the claimed fraud and not of the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, which might work to her benefit because she's had a lot of problematic behavior on the show. Prosecutors took note of, that, note of it, but stated they would seek to admit at least one clip where Jen allegedly received a notice of search warrant, we don't remember this being aired, that they claimed was in the show. Is that from footage we haven't seen? They say, we can expect that Stuart Smith will testify. Stuart James! At the hearing, it was confirmed that Stewart expected, is, is expected to testify at the trial on behalf of the prosecution. In response, defense counsel noted that they would impeach him by providing evidence reflecting that he had allegedly used racist slurs against Jen, including by calling her the Dark Queen. How are you kidding me at this point? They literally were filming together. Hold on, y'all. So y'all can see my face. They were literally filming together right before this arrest. This is why I always, I just can't with Jen Shaw because she likes to weaponize racism for her own benefit. He, he used racist slurs against you. However, you decided to continue to work with him and called him your right-hand man. They have footage of you feeding him a banana. Southern, Southern District of New York, are you going to use that? Probably not. The Bravo docket continues. They said Jen Shaw was never offered a plea deal. The prosecution confirmed that they never offered Jen Shaw a plea deal, but did provide her with a, a pimental letter. A pimental letter provides the defendant, Shaw, with an estimate of what sentence the prosecution will seek should the defendant accept a plea agreement. Oh, look at us learning things. Shout out to the Bravo docket, guys. If you're not following them, be sure to follow and support them. And, and don't forget to let them know who sent you. I told her she, well, they didn't offer her a plea deal. I mean, they already had everyone else turn on her. Everyone that was involved in this case have turned on Jen Shaw and will probably 
be testifying. We already know Stu James is going to be testifying. This doesn't look good for Jen Shaw. No matter what she wants to try and spin it and, and tell us, oh, it's because she is a minority woman. She's fighting for justice. She real serious about Kim Kardashian representing her. That's all right. Kim, you can continue to help other people that... All right. She's going to go through trial, y'all. We will watch. We will report on the most pressing details. I'm not going to be reporting on, on this every day. It won't be seen on television. This will not be available. I think we can go to the courtroom, though. But that's a full-time job. I'm not going to the courtroom for Jen, y'all. Maybe I'll send someone, though. <laughs>